The cytotherm DR is our dry rocking thar. The capacity is six regular or three jumbo plasma bags. The cytotherm DR uses a time-proven, reliable rocking bath as a base. Set up the unit by screwing on the arms with the notches up. Place the bath in front of the unit. Connect the umbilical cord. The label on the umbilical cord connector faces up. The power switch must be off when making this connection. Lift the bath and place the pivots of the bath into the notches of the arms. Fill the bath with water to two and a half centimeters or one inch above the pivots. Rest the back of the rack on the top of the bath. Connect the pump output tubing. Connect the plug end of the sensor connector to the control panel and push the molded end onto the two pins on the left side of the rack. Open the rack by pushing the lock bar to the left. Lift the lid by rotating it back. When it is vertical, slowly lower it straight down. Turn the power switch on. The heater will turn on and maintain a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. To thaw, just lay the plasma bag on the bladder and cover it with the top half of the bladder. Close the lid by lifting straight up until it stops and then rotating it towards the front. Lock the lid by pushing the lock bar to the right. Push start to begin thawing for the program time. The rocker motor will turn on and tempered water will be pumped through the bladder and the thawing time will count down. The plasma bag lays on a warm water bed and is covered by a warm water tempered blanket. The agitation is very gentle to minimize bag breaks. Because of the rocking motion, the frozen part of the plasma moves back and forth inside its plasma bag, speeding thawing. Since the top of the rack and the bladder are clear, you can see inside the plasma bag. You can see when the plasma bag is fully thawed. When the thawing times out, the unit will call you back. Push stop. The unit will tell you to wait for a few seconds. Open the lid and remove the completely dry plasma bags. This is the best way to thaw plasma. Besides the obvious convenience, there are no wet towels or drips to promote bacterial growth. The rack is divided into three isolated sections with leak detectors. If a plasma bag leaks, the unit will sound an alarm. In such a case, the plasma bags in the other two sections remain sterile. Press stop. Turn the unit off. Unlock and open the lid. Remove and properly dispose of the leaky plasma bag. Hold the end of the bladder up so that the clean tempering water drains out of the bladder and back into the bath. Twist off the inlet and outlet fittings and put the bladder aside. It can be discarded or cleaned and disinfected. You can then clean out and disinfect the contaminated single section. Or, if you want to continue thawing the plasma in the other two sections, twist on the plugs on the inlet and the outlet ports. Close the lid, turn the unit on, and push start to continue thawing. After you have finished thawing, you can then clean out and disinfect the section where the plasma bag leaked. Airborne pollutants do not reach the water. The air in contact with the water is in a sealed system and isolated from the environment. Any air being exchanged passes through a filter on the side of the bath. 
Even the hole for the calibration thermometer has a cover that rotates to seal the air. This way the water stays cleaner much longer. Cleaning of the bath is recommended once every three months. To clean the bath, turn the unit off, disconnect the sensor connector, lift the rack, and disconnect the pump. Let the water from the bladders in the rack flow back into the bath. Place the rack aside. Connect the drain tubing to the drain valve and place the other end in a bucket or sink. Turn the handle of the drain valve clockwise. Most of the water will drain out. Lift the bath and place it in front of the unit. Reach behind the chassis and squeeze the two connector tabs, then disconnect the umbilical cord. Carry the bath to the sink, pour out the remaining water, and clean the bath.